Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today working on the 2009 uh, Silverado 2500 HD. Uh, I've got some uh, something different, something I've never had on my channel here and I'm going to put in some of those uh, Husky uh, wheel liners for the rear. So this is what uh, the passenger side looks like anyway. Um, I've already got the driver's side uh, installed because I wanted to have an I wanted to have an install under my belt here to uh, you know say if I like it or not here and kind of got mixed emotions about it. Um, these <laughs> these are a pretty tough fit, guys. I mean, you really got to wrestle these things into place, and they've got uh, four mounting points. You got one right there. One right there, and you got one right there, one right there. Now, on the driver's side, these mounting points, I cannot get lined up at all. So, I did get uh, these lined up, and I had to enlarge the hole and move the hole over on the one side. So, I only got two screws holding the driver's side in. So, I'm a little disappointed with that. So, I'll show you the driver's side install here oh here we go it's, it's I've got uh, fluid film all over it so don't uh, judge it by all these marks on it but um, like I said it, it's a bear to get this thing uh, installed uh, one thing I really like about it is it covers up or it covers up most of that ugly uh, fifth wheel hitch back there problem with that is is those big bolts I had to notch it right there and I had to put a hole over there so the liner could lay flat against the frame or it doesn't lay flat against the frame but so it can go closer to the frame so I guess that's a good thing I didn't know it was going to cover that ugly hitch but it did um, another reason why I want these liners is because I'm fluid filming the whole bed. So I was gonna fluid film this whole fender well. Now, fluid film is kind of a, a greasy, uh, greasy uh, substance, so it's gonna get dirty. And if I didn't put this liner on here, you was gonna see a dirty inner wheel well all the time. I guess until I went to the car wash and washed it off, but now with this liner here, I have put a heavy coat of fluid film under the whole wheel well of this thing. So I shouldn't be able to wash it off with the pressure washer. It should stay in there and it should keep uh, the inner fender well from rusting. Also it's going to help with uh, rock chips, obviously. Um, this truck apparently is, hasn't been off-road much because there wasn't, there wasn't hardly any damage inside these wheel wells. So. I mean, I guess if you have a rock chipped uh, fender well and it looks really bad, really beaten up, I guess these would, would hide that too. I would recommend uh, fluid film underneath them so you don't uh, rot it out under there. Okay, so we're on the other side without the wheel well. I haven't done this one yet. And I haven't fluid filmed it yet either. I did put a little fluid film on the back of that pinch weld. And I put some fluid film inside that, uh, right there, that crossover. Because I'm not going to be able to get to that once these liners are in place. And you can see the, the wheel wells are in pretty good shape. I mean, there's a few scuffs, I think, on them. But um, not nothing too major. But I'm going to spray this down, like I said, with a heavy coat of fluid film. All inside here. And then uh, I'm going to put the, the other wheel liner in here okay so with the kit you get these uh, nuts U nuts right here you actually get eight of those and then you get eight of these screws here for mounting and like I said the two mounting points on the lip of the thing I couldn't get lined up but I did get the other side mounts um, close to being lined up 
So that's, that's pretty much what holds this in there, but it, it's such a tight fit, guys. Even I don't think if you screwed it in there, I don't think it's going to come out, but there it is. It's uh, 7,900 is the part number, I believe. Husky liners. It says 2007 to 13, 1500, 07 to 14, uh, 25 to 100 to 3500. Now, again, if you have a fifth wheel hitch, apparently that isn't going to clear. Like I said, I had to notch that out. Okay guys, so I got my fluid film in here and I'm just, like I said, I'm going to put a heavy coat uh, in here. I'm going to concentrate on the seams, the, the pinch welded seams, because that's where your rust is going to start. Um, and then um, scratches, it, it'll start there too, but mainly on your, on your, uh, your seams is where you're going to have trouble. Okay guys, so I got a heavy, like I said, heavy coat of fluid film in there. Now I'm going to get my, my liners stuck in here. You got to kind of get them in here over the tire. Like I said, it's a snug, it's a snug fit. Getting these in here, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to video this because, like I said, this is a real struggle getting this liner up in there. So I'm just gonna cut back once I get this uh, installed. Okay, so I got this uh, passenger side liner in place, and. This one actually seems to fit better than the other side. Maybe I'm just getting the hang of installing these, but you pretty much gotta manhandle these sides and, and just fold it in and force it under this lip uh, once you get the liner up in there. Uh, I got these screws to mount up, so them lined up a lot better. I wouldn't say they were perfect, but they lined up a lot better. So I got all the mounting uh, or all the four mounting points uh, on this side lined up. I may go over to the other side, see if I can't do something with that, but I think I'd have to drill new holes to get that to line up. It's a little deformed here, I think, from being in the shipping box. I think once it gets outside in the sun and kind of relaxes without being inside of a box, um, I think it's gonna, it's gonna fit a little better. But here's the, the fifth wheel bolt. I gotta drill this out or I gotta take my Dremel. I actually got a Dremel and a trim bit and I'm just gonna go around the bolt here to relieve that. You can see it's putting a lot of pressure on this liner here. That's gonna help too with it, with it uh, being a little deformed here, I think. But I've got that one there, which is bad, and there's one right here I'm gonna notch, just like I did the other side, probably with just a uh, notch out right there, but. I'm going to do that and we'll be back.
Okay guys, so I've got the uh, liners installed and I've uh, actually it's been it's been a few days now since I got the, the liners installed. I was wanting to drive it to make sure there was no like noises coming from these from from uh, flopping in the wind or something but so far I can't really uh, can't really hear anything. But uh, I'll show you the uh, the holes I I drilled for the the fifth wheel mounting plate. This one here. Um, this bolt here had a, a bunch of of threads left, so I made up some small bolts and I put a big washer on it to kind of give it a little more finished uh, look to it. Uh, this one I actually cut a little too much off. Not real happy with the with this side. I wish I would have just um, made a round hole. Made a round hole. I didn't didn't know it would work. I did that over here. Truck's dirty, but black. It don't take long for black to get dirty. But over here, you can see it's a little better. Because all I did over here was just cut a round hole and cut a round hole for the fifth wheel mount. So the other side is not bad, but I did a little better job on this side. But um, yeah, guys, I really like it. I really like them. They uh, they add a real finished look to the bed. I know my the fender wells weren't really beat up on this truck, but even with the beautiful uh, inner fenders that it had. The this uh, liner makes it look even better. I mean, it just it just gives it that finished look under there that you don't see all the spot welded panels and everything. So I like it. I've got some uh, before and after pictures. I'm gonna throw up here so you can see what it was uh, before the liner and what it was after the liner. And for, for 90 bucks, I believe these were, and some time to install them, um, I, I would recommend them, guys. Like I said, it really makes a nice finished look, kind of like the front, where they got them uh, plastic inner fenders. So, real happy with, uh, with the look, guys. I think it's going to add a little more protection. Got my fluid film up underneath there, so it ain't going to rust out, so... Um, real happy with uh, the, the whole the whole liners in the rear so I guess that's gonna do it for this one guys um, hopefully uh, you enjoyed it and I'll see you